Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 13 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We are out here chilling in the auto sheep shearing wool farm, mainly because we built a second floor, and we did all of this on stream, by the way, that is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Feel free to join anytime. The second floor here is just as efficient as the first floor, and we even have a third floor that goes down that we started building live on stream, but we don't have the sheep down here yet, but we will pretty soon. Got some shoulder boxes with the supplies. And, uh, yeah, we just gotta get some of the stairs back in here, get the sheep moved in here, and they... Obviously, we gotta get the sheep colored up before they get in here. I made the mistake of last time when we did a long play video, I... First, in like the first 15 minutes... Oh, there I go, Fallen. In about the first 15 minutes, I went down here and tried to dye some of the sheep, and it's just... It's a pain, as you can see from the video, but, uh, we will not do that again. By the way, thank you guys for watching episode 12. Last episode, we built this nice little dog sanctuary for all the wolves. We have, like, a hundred of them here on the first, second, and third floors, and, uh... Yeah, there's, we have way too many dogs. Good thing they have a home now, but all of that rainbow wool that we had been making down in that rainbow sheep sharing wool farm is uh, because of the Rainbow Mountain, and this project is getting big. As you can see right here, we are going up very high. On stream, uh, yeah, we've been doing a lot of the busy work, as, as uh, we usually do, but going here, and this little tunnel has been made. Uh, the raid farm has definitely been messed with because we cannot use the raid farm right here without uh, anything spawning on this side of the rainbow. So, yeah, unfortunately, this little rain farm, we're gonna not be able to use it until we start putting carpets everywhere so nothing can spawn over here. But, yeah, this thing is starting to get massive, and we're not even close to getting as tall as it could be because, look, the whole desert, it is huge. We have a very large desert to cover, and, man, do we have a lot of work. Like, oh, man, we got a lot of work to do. Land back home, we are gonna land right at this gold post over here, and, and this man over here does not even have a job. What's- what's going on? Where's your job, dude? What do you- oh, now he has a job. Anyways, going over to the gold post, we have over here the, the beacon. We definitely got a beacon, and we also- the dog pen. We definitely got the dog pen. Now, what else? Finish Rainbow Mountain, definitely have not done that yet. That is, uh, that's a work in progress. Archery range, that sounds cool, but... Brewing Potion Tower, um, let's, I don't know, Apiary for the bees. Honestly, I'm thinking Melon and Pumpkin Farm. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. I've never made one before, and believe it or not, in like the 10 years of playing Minecraft, I have never made a pumpkin or melon farm. I just collect them with Silk Touch always and just bring them home. And so I'm, uh, maybe it's just laziness or I just haven't been interested, but yeah, I mean, maybe now's the time. Pretty soon, I kind of want to make a farm so that I can make some end rods over here, because, I mean, this is, I like going up here and farming these out. Making end rods is fun. You can take these out with the bow and arrows as well. They just go bippity bop right there. And uh, taking out these purple trees or whatever type of chorus fruit trees or whatever you want to call them, um, they definitely, I don't know, they're the, one of the more fun things to harvest. Definitely super relaxing, but we got to get a more dedicated farm for these Pretty soon. I think that might be one of the things that I'm about to put up on the goal board. But before we actually go ahead and make our melon and pumpkin farm, I'm going to do something that I've been meaning to do for a while. We're going to put on our fancy pants and uh, we're going to go in. I actually have uh, something to show you as well. We went through and we did a long play uh, recently. And by the way, thank you for watching if you did. It's just a couple episodes ago, I believe. And by the way, thanks for watching if you did. I appreciate you guys for watching the long plays. We went ahead and uh, we just uh, we tunneled out on all of these. We have the acacia boat right here. We have a crimson boat over here, a dark oak boat, and a regular boat. And oh no, not a crimson boat. We, you can't make those. I meant to say mangrove. Honestly, why? I wish we could make nether boats. Why can't you make a crimson or like a, a warped fung, like warped fungus boat? Like, why can't you do that? But now we can take this all different directions, and I'm gonna go here, and there we go. We made our own little stop over towards the bastion right here. I'm not gonna get as close as probably I should, and oh yeah, we'll just stop right here. I'm gonna take it easy. I definitely don't want to die, but I want to get every achievement in this game, and I'm pretty sure there's a hidden achievement where, I don't even know if it's hidden, but pretty sure there's an achievement where you can go ahead and if you kill every mob in the game, uh, then you get that achievement. So I'm gonna try to kill a piglin brute, because I have killed a piglin before, but definitely not a piglin brute. So what I'm gonna do is probably get rid of some of this blackstone. Honestly, like, excavating this whole thing might be kind of nice for taking out. I would like to get a lot of different types of blackstone, and this would be the way to do it. None of them are going to go out. Ooh, there's a chest right there. But none of them are going to go after me except for the piglin brutes unless I start opening chests or if I start digging out some gold. The gilded blackstone is a really nice block that I kind of want as well, and I really got to watch out for these hoglins. Give me some of this gilded blackstone. Nice. This will be nice for decoration. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it on yet, but I will use it. This cracked blackstone looks so nice, though. I can't wait to use this. Sorry, hoglin, but you got to go, dude. You got to go right now. There are just way too many hoglins in here. Oh my- oh, he jumped right into that. 
I'll take some pork chops, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and then it might make some people mad, so I might run over here. Where is... where... where is everybody? I see two piglins right there. If I shoot one of them, there's, they're probably going to get mad. Let's, let's pull the brutes out. Let's pull the brutes out. Oh man, that killed him. I think every piglin and like piglin brute, I think literally, I think maybe all of them spawned back here. Like they're all right there. Maybe except for this one guy. Oh, never mind. He's been alerted. They've all been alerted. Oh, you've been alerted? You've been alerted, bud. Gotcha, bud. I'm sorry about it. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Let's go see if we can get a chest real quick right here. I really hope. Oh, God. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, a bunch of gold, bunch of gilded blackstone. Let's go, dude. And we still got a lot of these guys back here freaking out. There's, I swear, they're only back here. Sorry, little man. Well, I done found me a piglin brute. It's kind of not really a fair fight because it looks like he's stuck down there, but I'm going to go ahead and just do that right at him. And then I'm going to do that right at him again. And oh, God. Maybe I'll do that right one more time. And now he's done. Oh, and what do you know? Another brute literally right that right here. They're just... Oh, wait. I almost... I couldn't shoot him. So I want that gilded blackstone, and I want that chest. And uh, this guy's got to go, man. Sorry about it. Sorry about it. And uh, sorry about it. Was it worth it? Let's see. And yeah, dude. Netherite scrap. For sure it was worth it. Got to get rid of some stuff, though. What do I not need? Let's get rid of the string. Let's get the netherite scrap in here. I am most definitely going to come back here on stream and come here. Oh, God. Those hoglins are... Oh god, let's get out of here. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna come back here on stream. It was fun, and I want to excavate the whole thing. I like that cracked blackstone, and I want to use a lot more of it on some builds. Blackstone's actually something that we don't have a lot of yet, but uh, uh, we're gonna go back and park our boat right about here on the barrel, and good, we're gonna go back home. Lap the pants up right there, go out the door, and we're- oh my god, it's raining. And what is- dude. Okay, why does this keep happening? There are villi- why? This has happened too many- why? one guy over here there's two guys over here how many villagers are still out here let's is there anybody that went even further let's i don't see anybody why did these guys do this so they're just trying to start their own colony out here why did they do that oh man this town is starting to look pretty nice uh, especially in the rain this is beautiful i am absolutely loving this this is amazing and i know i did show you on the last episode the library but we actually have everybody back into place here so we can run down everybody's not here yet but we got bam bam there's a couple people still running around but we can shove them right in with the water i need to get a couple more villagers we have about half of the people we have 12 people in their spots but only uh oh, oh, oh there's about 12 of them actually there's 13 spots that are open but uh yeah it's a it's it's a work in progress Grab some pumpkin seeds right here. Let's grab some melon seeds. Oh man, we might actually have to break down some melons to get more seeds. And I'm pretty sure I need just a bunch of observers and a bunch of pistons. We have observers. 22 will do for now. 19 pistons. I think this will make a mini farm, but we're probably going to end up needing more, but this will do for the start. I'm trying to find a nice little spot to get this taken care of, and I'm thinking either right behind the frog sanctuary, right in this little field next to the terraced farms, or back here behind the dog sanctuary. I'm not entirely sure. We might have to take some of these jungle trees out and find out, but um, maybe just chilling down here might do the trick. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this area. Let's go over by the frog sanctuary right about here. We, I mean, we took out all of these trees, all of this hill for a good reason. I think it's to put a big pumpkin and melon farm here, and we'll build it up a couple stories, but I think right here is going to be a good spot. So first things first, let's just get like a, at least part of the farm going. We'll start here and we'll get a little bit of water flow going. So the water's chilling and flowing. We're going to use the hoe to go here. I think we need to put the pistons facing this way. Yep. And then we'll get the observers facing the other direction. There are so many cows out here, by the way. Like what? Why? I have zero explanation for this. There is, uh, I mean, there's a lot of cows in here and I don't think they can escape unless they, there's like entity cramming and they get shoved right out. But I just, I kind of just realized there's a lot, there's a lot more than normal. We'll start with pumpkins though, and we'll just put them right here in front of the observers. That way when these little seeds grow, they'll, uh, they'll pop into the next space and then the piston will shove them right out. They should be able to continue growing infinitely too, so I guess we'll just have to make this larger. I might want the water to actually flow into somewhere in the middle, kind of like the sugarcane farm all the way down there. If you haven't watched that episode, uh, we actually, so basically, as you can see here, there's water that's flowing into the middle, into a bunch of hoppers. Under all of this, there is a, a hopper minecart system, as you can hear right there. It's rolling through, grabbing anything that lands on the grass. Oh, and there I am wasting rockets. But yeah, let's go ahead and make this kind of an X, and then we will also go ahead 
and uh, probably turn this thing up a couple levels. Like, we'll go up about maybe three or four stories tall with this as well, because we want to get, like, maybe two stories of pumpkins and two stories of melons, because I want to get enough to trade with. Like, these are these are very good tradables. So I was thinking we need to kind of set up a perimeter for this build, and I keep hearing frog jumps. I, oh, there is, oh my god. There's a frog right here. Let's get a lead. Where you at, my dude? You still here? All right, so, dude, come on back here. Why are you doing, oh, dude. There's another frog also. How do they keep getting out? Come through the door over here. And there you go. Now you're home, bud. Good job. And you, sir, I think you know better. You should have been in there. Ninty, you have a name. I don't even know how you got out. This guy over here is very much out of place, but uh, we were trying to do a uh, four-way here, and we got that going. So there's a lot of melons and a lot of pumpkins going the other ways, and they actually all go right into the center here, collecting quite a few of them. You can head out. We're going to make our second layers here out of grass. I mean, you can use dirt as well if you don't have the silk touch yet, but we have that, so we're going to use the water going all the way down. Ooh, looks like we already have some growing up here. We can start let's redstone this right there. Nothing is working, but I think it's because we need to do that. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, pumpkins. So I've been out gathering some glowstone, and I actually noticed right here. Look at this guy. We have a cleric from all the way back when in, like, episode 2, before we built episode 3's giant nether portal. But we have this right here. I'm actually going to break this so he can't even get over here anymore. And I'm going to give him a path that he uh, can't deny. I'm going to break down here, and then he can pretty much just jump in like this. I think that might be the way to go. Let's go ahead and break this down. Sir, go ahead and jump up. There you go, bud. Oh, he's taking the bait. He took the bait. Yes. No, 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 dude. No, get back in there. I'm not, I'm going to fight you. No. Okay. This is the most difficult cleric I've ever dealt with. I don't, it's not even worth taking this guy back anymore, almost. What are these villagers doing over here? What, what are you doing, dude? And you're, okay, you need to get a different job. And dude, Johnny Stickman. Jonathan Stickboy, what, what's going, no, no, no. I'm breaking this boat before both of them get in. Get out. Go back to the land, please. Come on. What are you doing? It's time to be on the land. Oh, there, I'll even... Oh, there you go. Get up here. Have a good time. Have a grand old time. Come on, bud. You got this. Villagers are causing lots of issues, but we wanted to come back because I wanted to finish up the glowstone on the tippy top of the roof, and as you can tell, we may have gone a little bit overboard with the uh, the styling of this. We went up four different levels. There's a lot of different levels here, and uh, we decided to go up four of them. And actually, oh my god, actually right here is not uh, being collected anymore. We are getting extra full. It's just being thrown down from four different levels right now. Then I had an idea where we would actually... Okay, this is looking, you know, this is like not looking too bad. But I had an idea where, since this is getting all trapped up in the middle, we're going to go down here. There is uh, a little bit of a land jump right here about four or five blocks up so we could actually build a tunnel if we want i think i'm gonna go straight right this way and just go straight as far as i can and after a little bit of digging i don't have any torches so we're using the glowstone that we collected but then after a little bit of digging you're just gonna go over here probably go up and oh there we go there's the hoppers and we have officially made it this is gonna be our collection room i might go down one but we definitely need to widen this up a little bit and the hallway Definitely needs a lot more space. We're gonna, I don't know, I, I made this go a little bit straight at first, and then we went very diagonal. We had, so it was a long way in here. What I'm gonna do at first, to just probably just add this little double chest here that everything can start filtering into, and then, um, we'll just get another double chest right here that everything can go into right here afterwards, and then that just gives it a little bit of space. You know what, we can even give it a third double chest if we absolutely want to. We'll put one right here, go bing, bang, boom. That gives it a little bit of extra space, and uh, we'll probably make this look a little bit nice, but I'm not going to focus on that now. we got other things to do. I'm liking the way this little glass strip is looking, but as you can see over there, it is time to get the oak wood over here. We're going to be working with a lot of oak wood, a little bit of spruce, and a lot of deep slate, as you can see, but uh, yeah, normally we're doing mangrove. Not today. We're trying to stay away from the mangrove, I've been using a lot of it, and especially since the frog sanctuary right here is mangrove, right there, and uh, a lot of the tippy tops that you see over here are mangrove. I'm just trying to get like more buildings that have oak roofs, and I, I don't know, they'll just give it they'll do more variation with the color of the roofs. Let's glide down. I want to strip as many of these as I can. Nice, we got them all. Perfect. As you can see, we started planting some jungle trees back here as well. I wanted to replant the jungle. I just wanted to flatten everything out and get all the ferns, but now that we... Uh, Got all that taken out. We can plant some trees again, get kind of this uh, bone mealed area going. And uh, it, I don't know, it was starting to look like a super flat area. We didn't really want that, but the, the bone meal is making this look pretty nice. And I don't know for sure yet, but I did want to add maybe some of these oak logs right here, like so. 
get some of these oak stairs like this to make the edge look a little bit more thick. Okay, actually now I'm starting to think that not the longs, but just tripling up on the stairs over here is starting to look a lot more fancy. Now, you already know what we're probably going to do, and it's something along these lines right here. I do want to use the spruce, and I want to use the chains as well, but I don't know if I want the lanterns to be that low to the stairs. I don't know if that looks good exactly. I mean, we can try just stripping this wood real quick. I mean, yeah, that could... We'll have to work with this a little bit to get more design. I do know that for sure that I'm going to take this out again, and do we have the glowstone with us? We do not. We have so much that we have so much stuff in the inventory. I'm gonna go right here. I'm probably gonna end up taking some of that out. Yeah, we'll probably do that on every side here as well. Bing, bang, boom, and bop. When you take a step back, let's look. Ooh, I wish I could take care of those pumpkins up there too, but it's kind of hard to get a hopper minecart system on every level. Yeah, actually, this is this is weird. We're moving this up. This is all getting taken out. We're moving this all up by just one block. This hole over here that we talked about last episode is kind of getting in the way now, so I'm trying to fill it in just a little bit, but I don't know. I kind of want to make, like, a cool spiral staircase going down. We might, like, make a long play out of that. That would be fun, but for now, I do want enough room to make a pathway going along here because we're going to have to build some more builds. Like, this is going... Like, the society has to get larger. The builds are going to be moving back here as the uh, the series goes on, and... I don't know, I mean, like, this this hole, it's gonna be nice when the spiral staircase goes down, but I still need some room to breathe for this current build. There we go. See, yeah, now I can start working on a little bit of a path. I got a little bit more breathing room. It's gonna be nice and easy. We can connect it right up here. Perfect. Gonna bring it back over here. I do want to make a path that goes all the way this way. Probably gonna connect right up in here. Over here, I think uh, we're gonna put glowstone, just one of the glowstone on each of these, and then we're gonna round it off with each of these and then i think we're gonna use a bunch of trap doors as well uh because that brings a lot of contrast to the color also how could i forget right here we got to put the ferns in the fern thinking right here we're actually just gonna go ahead and replace these we're gonna put the campfires in if i can put that in ouch and ouch that way it kind of looks like this and we can add a couple of the trap doors right here to the bottom next it's the classic you guys know what it is i'll probably just fly down here to make it a little easier we'll go bam boom if I wasn't falling so much, I could really get a lot of this built a lot quicker. Ooh. All right, so we'll go bam, bam. We're going to go in. We'll go chain, lantern, and a lantern. And then I think we're going to decorate right here with some potted plants. We'll take a step back, pep right up here, and not too bad, not too bad. Let's do that on every side. So I'm thinking for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do slabs. Uh, for the first one, obviously, it's going to be stairs, but I think slabbage all the way to the top is the way to go. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of variation here and there. I hope I can put that. Nope, I cannot. At the tippy top here. Nope, that's not going to work. We'll probably end up turning it around just like so and go right there we go. Now what we really got to do is start covering the roof up with the oak. I had to fly up real quick though because uh, I was on the ground getting some materials and I did notice that uh, oh, as soon as I turned the camera off and of course I think they might have despawned but... I mean, that just goes to show there was a couple of items. There's some melons chilling right here and some pumpkins over here that I had seen earlier. And I wasn't thinking much of it until right now. I am going to officially just go ahead and get these over here. I'm going to get every hopper in these open spots so that basically everything that's starting to get shoved out of these little water cannons, like basically no, no materials left behind. And of course it's raining. It's always raining. And you know what? I'm actually realizing now. I need to go down. I was building up with the glowstone. I ran out earlier and had to go to the nether, but now that we have enough glowstone, I can build up these little towers here, and I might put some extra towers right here um, on these inner two blocks, like these two right here, those two right there. Boom, 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 boom. If I have enough glowstone, I will. Um, I don't need to trouble myself too much for it, but that might prevent a couple more of those pumpkins. And see that? Actually, those pumpkins right there, a little bit in the peripherals, those might have landed right on the grass. And this little diamond pattern of hoppers right here is crazy too. I'm loving this right here. Now that we built up, actually, the, to get more of a dome, I think what we'll have to do is build up maybe just about two or three like that, and then start to go over like this. And we'll take these out, but uh, this will actually build more of a dome. We'll go up by two right there, and then probably start going up by one up until we reach the middle with these logs. On the roof, we're going to do spruce trap doors and spruce buttons alternating here. As you can see, we also kind of switched the slabs up with some campfires as well. I thought this would just add some much needed color. And the roof, well, we are just going to spike this one up right here. Kind of just like the uh, the frog sanctuary, if I can... Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to do that pretty smooth, but I wasn't able to. Looking pretty good here. I was fixing the glass up on all of the sides here, and I did notice that, look at one pumpkin. 
that uh, that needs to be fixed. On stream, it was pointed out right here, and I'm glad it was, because here we go. Bam, look at that. Almost missed it forever. I really, ah, man, this always reminds me that we could have some copper mine carts, but we just don't. That would just make this build way too complex. We're gonna run out, though. That was kind of a close one. And let's see if we can close this. Boop, 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 and boop. Okay. This is when we jump up and we start getting that quartz flag going. We're gonna jump over here. We're gonna go bam, boom, and then we go bam. Honestly, more flowers up here. I don't, I don't think that'll ever hurt anybody. Let's go. The more the merrier. Getting a view from the top side here. It's not looking too bad. Not looking too bad at all. I'm gonna have to break this scaffolding down and break my ankles all the way down while I do it. And here we are. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm really liking the detail on the outside here. A lot of this was done on stream. And thank you guys for watching. If you did follow on stream, appreciate y'all. I am enjoying how this path right here kind of leads up into this hole. It's kind of making me like, I don't know, it makes me more motivated to uh, make that spiral staircase. I don't know. But if we go back here, we kind of bone mealed up a lot of stuff as well. Makes it look, the, the foliage looks a lot more natural. And we've got our classic cornflower and oxidaisy mixture right outside the farm. I just got to plant some azalea bushes and some extra types of flowers. We got our base, our main types of big flowers, and that's, uh, almost forgot my bed here right on the path. And also, while we're down here, there's one thing that I wanted to show. It's the other pathway to get down to the storage. I thought that this was pretty cool. So we have nice little double doors here that comes right up. I actually, you know what, might put a barrel right here just to see. Yeah, that, that looks kind of nice. We'll, double, we'll open the double doors. Walk right through the hallways, pretty bare. We had figured, you know what, we're not going to come in here very often, so I just put a bunch of spruce in, and it goes all the way down. Look at this. We go, bam. Double chest filling up. Look at all these melon slices going in. We got melon slices, melon slices. Pumpkins should be coming down pretty soon. I, for some reason, it looks like only melon slices are making their way down, but uh, it is what it is. It is still filling up at the moment. This is just, it's so many. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. That is going to be it for this episode. Episode 13 is coming to a conclusion. And uh, dude, thank you guys for watching. Episode 14 is going to be coming right around the corner in a few days. Sorry for the delay on this episode. It uh, this, ep this build actually took me a long time. All these details down here on the side right here took me a while to do. And I did it on a couple different streams. It's just because I was a little indecisive on how I wanted to do it first. And what's up, Iron Golem? How you doing, man? But yeah, guys, thanks for coming around. I really appreciate it. Again, guys, thanks for joining the Patreon. If you do, j join the Discord if you want to. All the links for all these are going to be down below. And once again, take care of yourselves and do something nice for somebody. Okay, guys? Bye.